Who the hell is that in that corner over there? <laughs> where? In the corner, by the walker, by the... Right under the... You see what I'm saying? There. <laughs> Listen, I want to talk to you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and talk to me, baby. <laughs> what am I asking you? You're all over the fucking place in here, yeah. Place looks like a bomb hit, doesn't it? It really looks insane. Honey, you're doing a good job. Stay off that internet. Yeah, I'm doing a good job. You're right. Mm. You're right about that. Mm. Oh, so we watched the movie. What was it called? Great Picture, Lovely Life. Yeah. Um, about a pedophile. His granddaughter wanted to tell the story of how this guy victimized like everyone in his family and all of his patients he was a chiropractor he was like raping like you know little little children and got away with it i mean died alone very very sickly guy at the end and you know you could say his karma was coming at him at you know full speed at the end there but he lived a long life and uh he never got, he never, he never, did he go to jail briefly? Yeah. Like, because one of his patients ratted him out, a child patient. This guy was just like fucking going nuts. You know, molesting and raping children. Mm -hmm. His own daughters, his own granddaughter. Uh, it was... So these people, you know, the, the girl had had uh, balls to talk about it and make a documentary about it. She was a good filmmaker. But, um, you know, this is a thing. So John said he wanted he wanted us to watch it, um, that it would have, uh, you know, a healing, uh, go toward healing. I'm, yeah, I'm still healing from, from my my childhood and um the thing is this guy could never admit he was wrong he but he admitted to doing it but he kept saying you know i had a you know th i did stupid things but my life it, he had the weirdest excuses for everything he did but see in the case of my family no one acts like anything they all they pretty much say lynn's lying and this didn't happen, right? You know, this guy was a criminal and everything, but at least he did admit it then. Mm. But it's like, I'm never going to have that. And, you know, I don't know. You've done a great job forgiving the unforgivable. Really, you have. The main reason I want... Well, rather, I think it's a good idea to watch documentaries like the one we watched this afternoon is so that um, you could feel less alone in your experience. In your case, it's very, very, it's even more difficult because you were so young when it happened to you. There's really, uh, it's an aberration when to persecute cute or victimize any child is a aberration and it's a a very evil thing but when they're as small as you are and your mind you know that it happened but it takes many years for it to you have to get sober first is what happened yeah for it to come back mm -hmm. yeah and then a part of you just really doesn't want to believe that that your father, who you loved, who you still love, I think, Lena. Not only that he could do that and carry on with his day-to-day -day life, but also that your mother could be aware of it, uh, even if it's only on a peripheral in some kind of denial way and uh, and leave leave you ever, leave you alone with him. Right.
Right. That's the whole thing too. Never feeling protected like your whole life. And I, ne I, I could be, I would be like, my parents will never protect me that I know. I do that like early on that I couldn't count on them for anything like to, to help me or protect me. I always felt that really deep in my, in my soul. And, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel after watching that documentary today. That was a hideous guy in that documentary. Disgusting guy. And, uh, uh I don't know, John. Mm. Yeah. Now we're relaxed for the rest of the night. We still didn't read my uh, magazine. Oh, your People Magazine. Right, People Magazine. <laughs> Please. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read People magazine right now. I didn't even know Joshua Jackson had this beautiful new girlfriend. She looks like a young Iman. I'm really missing out on the world. They're gonna want, look at my hair. What is going on here, oh, John? <laughs> I can't be seen. I'm hideous. Hmm. How are you doing? Fine. Really great. Yeah, we've we've just we've just been reposting some old memoirs. Um, we made one video this morning and really relaxed day. And again, we're on the we're working into uh, internet abstinence, um, but not 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 the other kind anymore. <laughs> no, no. Hmm. But we're spacing it out, kind of. I think, right? Oh, yeah, we are, it's it's spaced out. But when we when we do have sex, it feels like a really exp it's very explosive. You you feel like you need to space it out afterwards. Like I, John used to be good for like five times in a row. I'm not kidding. Mm. I love when you brag about me. Am I bragging right now? <laughs> I used to be like frightened. Again? Oh, God, Johnny, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> well, you needed it in the beginning. In the beginning, I, it was a bit of an onslaught. Well, I'm talking about 10 years ago, but, uh, you know, she had she had been without proper loving for a very long time. So I, I really, I, I wanted to make it up to you. Oh, you did. Those early days were insane. But you never let me down. I have never, he does not dissatisfy, never. Uh, you know, like, like, you know, never, yeah. Well, the, I know exactly what turns you on and vice versa, so no one's going to do it for you like I can, honey. Yeah, you like talking about this, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hope the home team is doing great tonight. Yeah, everyone's doing great. There's a very um, energetic uh, uh, something with with Easter season upon us, and the resurrection, the resurrection. Yeah, that's what po he wrote a poem, John. Rest erection, <laughs> the rest er rest my erection. I, I don't know. He's got such a. <laughs> People take you the wrong way, though, because you're so sweet. You don't ever mean it, like, in a dirty way. No. What? There's nothing dirty about sex. Right. Except, like, it's guys like that, 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 you know, like, you know, and what you've been through that give it a bad name. Yeah, right. What makes certain individuals sexual predators? Like, what is that? Hmm. It's power, it's control over something and someone and, you know, it's uh, it's because they can, you know, and it's like a crazy ass drive that uh, that all bets are off. They just, you know, they're not going to control themselves. And it's it's one of the most evil things in the in God's creation of mankind. It's one of the most evil things. He gave us the sexual urge and the sexual gift for a way to express love for each other and this is what humanity has done 
Hmm. How does humanity find a way every time to fuck everything up? Hmm. You don't have an answer. I don't. I don't know why. It's alarming. But I, again, I feel it's very important to examine these people and their behaviors so that you feel less alone and so that you can always feel like you can talk about this, not on camera, but with me. If you ever want to, you know, go over anything again to help you, I'm, I've been there. You're not crazy. Your experience is real, was real. You were very small. And I'm here to help you through it still. It's not anything to be swept under the rug or to feel embarrassed about. Thank you, John. Sometimes I'm just exhausted, though, and I can't. Thinking about it is, is too much. And that's when I send my parents gifts and stuff, when, when I have hard moments of remembrance and I start getting angry, I send them a gift. Is that crazy? It's beautiful. Like you. Hi, Mom and Dad. Mm -hmm. He means it, you know. I know. You are beautiful. So where are you guys? I like this angle tonight with the, uh, the pillow of you in the corner is really adorable. <laughs> I know you like that. I love that picture. I have all of these pillows with John's face on custom made. It's a great company that does it on Amazon very inexpensively for that big giant pillow. It's, it's gigantic. It's like 26 by 26. Um, I had to put the stuffing in, but the pillowcase itself was like $16, 16 bucks. How gorgeous that is. I designed the picture, all the coloring I did. Mm. It's our poster and we have it, had it made into a custom pillow. If anybody wants the, uh, the link to the vendor, message me. You too can have your very own John Lennon pillow. <laughs> See, I'm not possessive. I'll share you. <laughs> or you could make it of your own twin flame. If your twin flame is uh, Lauren Green or uh, Dr. Smith. <laughs> you could have a nice big Dr. Smith pillow made or one of the robot. What's going on? I, I'm so happy not, uh, not being on, uh, 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 you know, feeling like I need to look at that fucking woman's uh, core page. Oh, what a relief. I know. So, but we had to, when we did it, we had to do it. Right. But now, like, look at, look at how great it feels not looking at that thing for the last five days or whatever. It's like such freedom. And how is Jonathan Harris doing? He's all right. Um... He says he sometimes feels like he's making headway with her and then it goes into the toilet again. Really? Yeah. It's not going to be easy. And he said that he's, uh, he's, uh, he's resigned for now to letting her do whatever she needs to do with her, uh, her little projects, uh, thinking, uh, you know, she's with John Lennon, the wrong John. Yeah. And he just has to accept that. And there's a beauty in that acceptance because that will help her to come around. We believe it worked with all the rest of them, the Zappers and all those other twin flames that wanted to be John Boy's twin flame. Boy, I tell you, I'm tired of it. I, I know, John. I know you are. Mm. I feel it. I feel your weariness. Mm. Unbelievable. And, uh, and, and I'm, uh, you know, 
But I, I just feel so happy not looking at her posts anymore. They were so, I don't want to be nasty, but they were so stupid. And that he, they, that she said things that you would never say. Mm. And that's, you know, that just annoyed me. Yeah. But now it's like, I don't feel annoyed anymore. I just feel like, oh, we did that, been there, done that. And I never have to deal with her again, right? Nope. As long as she minds her P's and Q's and keeps her mouth shut where you're concerned, it'll be all right. <laughs> what if she doesn't? We'll see. Uh, you know, God has a way of taking care of these things. You don't have to worry about it. All right. But uh, I told her way back in the beginning when she first w was uh, starting in with you and posting crap about you all over Quora, uh, she was a newcomer on Quora. You had already been on there with me for like four or five years, and she came on and tried to, you know, get you kicked off. She did the same thing with YouTube. See, the thing is, I see it all, right? And she was really trying to drum up a, a fucking crazy witch hunt against you on all of your platforms, reporting you left and right. Mm. You know, she fancies herself some kind of legal eagle or something. She's a crazy old retired uh, law office secretary. She wasn't even paralegal. All right, so what does that mean? It just means I see everything. That's what it means. You seem like you're getting angry talking about it. Maybe we should let it go for now. I'll just uh, wrap it up by saying I told her in the very beginning, just mind your manners with Lena. And, uh, and she shot back, I don't have to mind my manners. Oh, I forgot. You don't have any manners. Right. Right. She's, she's a very uh, stubborn... Um, one of these people that feels very victimized. Again, she's like Dr. Smith. If you look at Dr. Smith's behavior, right, it's ironic that she behaves like the female Dr. Smith. Argumentative, stubborn, butting into everyone else's business, misquoting, misdirecting her energy, and not helping really anyone, right? So, just mind your manners. That's all I ever ask of anybody. Mind your bloody manners, right? Be polite, and if you can't say anything nice, and shut up and move on. Doesn't resonate with you? Uh, you don't agree with it? That's too bad. Get the hell out of here. And you don't need to make reports. Nobody's bothering you. Nobody cares about you. Making up stories to make yourself feel important. Keep moving, right? That's true, John. All right, so speaking of keeping moving, are we going to get going and read that People magazine? It's not a big magazine, yeah. Let's go now. Let's go see what what uh, what the doodly doodle do. All right. Cock a doodle do. Cock a doodle. <laughs> hey, what's that remind you of? Don't start. <laughs> <laughs>